Hello. Welcome to the first episode of um, Adventures in Game Dev Adventures in DS Game Development. We're ba I'm, ba I'm basically since there's no we to do this all alone. I guess it's sort of a knockoff of Adventures in Game Development by Gyro Vorbis Falco. It's awesome, awesome guy. And yeah. I make DS games, and I have a series for that, so I'm cool all of a sudden. No, okay, well, so, so you see, I'm just making my game, and I got projects open, but I was messing around with this program called Wii Game Studio for Wii games, and, and you know, before I tried it and it didn't work, so I was like, I'll try it again, and now that I compile, I got this, like, on my screen, stuck there. And I'm trying to make DS games with that in my way. So, I was going to use a series for making this RP RPG-like game. It's sort of it's sort of an RPG, but it has a stricter storyline than an RPG would, I think. Since it's... I guess you can base it off Zelda, the first one. Yeah, something like that. It's actually a lot like that, if you think about it. I actually, I shouldn't be saying anything like this because I don't have any work done for it. But, I can, and I know I can get at least half of the engine done. I know that I can do that for sure. And, I have all the concept art because I actually draw a lot of concept art before I make a game. And I have all that already. So, all that is like, there. So, Right now I'm working on this other game called Ultimate Quiz Beta, since actually the betas, you can download the last alpha that I released on my website, but the beta, that's like private, and you're going to see like behind the scenes in this, so it's kind of awesome. So as I was saying while I was making this game, there's an easy mode, and that's what's going to be the demo, and that's what I'm working on right now. The problem about that is, easy mode is supposed to have 5 lives. I had it 3, because when I started making the game I had it as 3. So, you know, in I had a, there's an action that let me have, that set the lives to 3. The variable lives set that to 3. And I could not find that anywhere. I looked last night, like all last night for it, I couldn't find it. But today, I got home from school and I would just start messing around, looking for it actually. And I found it. So that's good, that's good. Um, it was in the randomest location. It was where, it was in some object that was supposed to be drawing text, and it was like in the middle of all those drawing, draw text actions. So I was like, what's going on here? Why did I put that there? Then I changed it. Um, then I thought, no, I'm not gonna just gonna change it to five. I'm gonna change the location, because what if this happens again? You know, I need it somewhere where it actually makes sense. So, what I did was put it on the action for when you touch the actual difficulty button for easy. They'll set your lives at 5. And the problem is, after that, when you go to click try again, it would reset your lives back to 0. And then it would just end, end up with a loop. And, um, actually, I'll show you what I mean right now. So, just ignore that there. Okay. So we have this here. So we want to choose easy. And let's just go ahead and waste all of our lives. Oops, I accidentally clicked the wrong answer. That was smart of me. I mean, I accidentally clicked the right answer. Okay, epic fail. Let's try again. Oh, what? My lives are zero. Oh, I died again. Let's try again. Oh, what? My lives are zero. Oh, I died again. Oh, why does this keep happening to me? Why does this keep happening to me? So, I found a solution to that. Let's just... Actually, yeah, it's really simple. I just need to have one more set variable action. Now, hopefully, that doesn't cause any errors anywhere else. 